Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 6th grade concept of equivalent expressions. This is standard 6.7c in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 17 of the 2022 released star test. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. So we have an expression right up here with some triangles and some squares. And this key is going to help us here. We need to find which of these has an equivalent expression. So first, let's figure out what this expression means. All right, so we've got three negative or three black triangles, which each represent negative x. So I'm going to put negative x, negative x, negative x. Okay, so that's what we've got. Uh, then we've got two positive triangles because they're white right there. Uh, and then we've got, it looks like we've got two minus ones and we've got a positive one. Well, here's the interesting thing is that we, can, if we want, right, we can go ahead and just simplify this. We've got how many negative x's? I've got negative 3x, right? We're just going to kind of bundle those together. How many positive x's? I've got plus 2x, and I've got a minus 2, and then I've got a plus 1. But a negative x and an x cancel out. A negative x and a positive x cancel out. Same with a negative 1 and a positive 1, right? 1 minus 1 is 0. So what am I left with? I'm left with negative x minus 1. That's all I'm left with. Because if I have negative 3x and then I add 2x, that's going to leave me with negative x. If I've got minus 2 and I add 1, that's going to leave me with minus 1. So there we go. Negative x minus 1. That's what that equals as an expression. So let's check each of these. See which of these gets that same thing, a. So same key. So I've got negative x, negative x, positive x, negative 1. Just replace each of those shapes with a value. Well, once again, negative x and positive x will cancel each other out. Hey, look what I'm left with. Negative x minus 1. Okay, so we could have found our answer immediately. As always, we're going to check every single one just to make sure. So b, I've got negative x, I've got two positive x's, and then I've got a positive 1. So my negative x and my positive x cancel each other out. So I've got an x and that's a positive 1, so we're going to make that an x plus 1. So I actually have the correct number of x's, 1, and the correct number of 1's, which is just 1, but they're both positive and they both need to be negative instead. Let's check c. All right, so C looks a little bit different because I only have the black triangles. So that's going to be negative x, negative x, negative x. And then I've got minus 1, minus 1, and then I've got a positive 1 right there. All right, so I can't get rid of any of my negative x's. So I'm just going to have to bring them all in together. So I've got three negative x's. So that's going to be negative 3x because I can just use that as repeated addition. I can at least cancel out a positive and a negative 1, so that's going to leave me with minus 1. So this is negative 3x minus 1. Close, but I needed to get rid of these two in order to make it work. And let's see, d. Oh, that's pretty simple. I've got a negative x, but the square is white. If it were filled in dark, then it would be fine but I've got a negative x, that's a positive one, right? So even though we don't necessarily think of that as adding, we do need to kind of put that right there to make sure that we signify it's a positive one rather than a negative one. And as you see, we need negative x minus one, not positive one. So our answer here is the first one, a.